I haven't noticed it at any other time with the uh, with the Strike Eagle, but I'm Michael Steele. I'm with ELR Precision. Welcome to the Vortex Strike Eagle 5 to 25 by 56. What we have here is a Vortex Strike Eagle. Um, this is a 5 to 25 by 56 scope, and. Um, I have two of these. They're uh, they're actually quite good. You get a lot of uh, you get a lot of scope for your money here. This is a uh, a scope I usually use on my 22. I have a 22 long rifle that my son loves to shoot with. And that I know that because it's at 2.2 mils, and 2.2 mils is what I need at 100 yards on my or 100 meters on my uh, 22 long rifle. Got good clicks, good positive, nice clicks, and a uh, good eye relief. Also, you can see that by the way the uh, by the way the the camera reacts on the adjustment. Both the uh, wind adjustment and the elevation adjustment are nice. Um, they're good, nice and clicky. I like that a lot. Um, <clears throat> and. The uh, parallax adjustment is also really positive. Um, this parallax adjustment on the Strike Eagle is from 15 to 500 there to infinity. And the target we're looking at is a 1,000 meter target. And out next to it, out here, out on the side by the, what's that? seven or eight over there is the 2k 2k target and the oops now i've just moved this around a little bit so we're looking at the 2k uh, plate instead of the 1k plate and the zoom does a really good job i uh, i really like the zoom on this um it's nice and it's taut at the same time as it's not taut. So it's nice and smooth. Taking into consideration, this is a about 900-ish dollar scope, maybe a thousand in, the, in Denmark. This stuff is expensive in Denmark. What are you gonna do? Um, move stateside, I guess. But my wife doesn't wanna do that. She wants to stay here and that's okay. I'll make do. My wife is Danish, by the way, and uh, I'm half half Danish, half American. Um, grew up in the States. I've lived in Denmark now for 26 years, I think. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm 38, so um, going on old. And um, here we are in Denmark at the only real long range range we have. Um, the zoom band is really good on it. I like the way it zooms really nice. Um, the illumination on it is also quite decent. It's not that obvious right now, um, even at 11 power, but one of the things that it does have going for it is that it lights up the entire reticle. Build quality of the Vortex Strike Eagle it's not bad at all. I like the uh, build quality of it. It's um, made of metal. Everything's made of metal. And I like my scopes being made of metal. You get a, as I stated earlier, a uh, 34 millimeter main tube and a 30 or a 56 millimeter objective lens or bell. You get locking turrets on the wind and on the elevation. You get 11 settings on the on the light, and I don't think you can see that. No, but this does not have an off setting in between each light setting. This just has one through 11, and you got you got to go back to zero to turn it off. The uh, the clicks are positive. You gotta unlock the turrets for it to click. They're, uh, they're nice and positive, they're nice and crisp. 
tactile as well. I like that. And that's the same on the on the wind adjustment. So um, glass quality is what we're going to talk about next. We're looking at what the camera sees out here and what the vortex sees through the uh, through its lens, and there's not really much of a difference. Zooming in, we don't have any blue tinge anywhere. All right, so the reason why I'm standing with this rifle, it's uh, magazine is out, rifle is cleared, we're safe, is that I have a Vortex Strike Eagle on this rifle. Um, we were out shooting a relatively long range um, game the other day, and it was in high sun, and we had white targets on the uh, on the at the end. That of course means that there was a very very high contrast on the uh, on the targets between the background, which was green, and the targets that was white. <clears throat> and with that very high sun, we had some very very clear blue hazing around the targets. That of course is the uh, is the lenses in the scope that are not quite aligned at the uh, maximum zoom. I haven't noticed it at any other time with the uh, with the Strike Eagle, but I do do feel that it's important to be honest. And we were at 300 something meters with those um, very white 320 meters, I believe it was, with those very white targets and there was a very very clear blue halo all the way around each of the white targets there were there were circular white targets and there was a very clear blue halo around each of the target which of course means that there is chromatic aberration in this scope it is not <coughs> it is not free of chromatic aberration the uh, the scope is made in in china i know that because it said made in china when i bought it so it might enjoy in the box. I think that covers it. All right, so with the Vortex Strike Eagle <clears throat> 5 to 25 by 56, this is a scope that I've been using now for quite some time. This is my, uh, this is my, the one I have on my hunting rifle on my 8 by 50, uh, yeah, 8 by 57 IS, which is an old Mauser. And I've been using this scope for a couple of years now. And the first time I've actually experienced any trouble with it was when I was talking about in the film where we're at this long range game where we were shooting at very white targets at, <clears throat> well, ranging between 100 and 350-ish uh, meters. Um, that's the first time I've ever experienced any troubles with the, with the glass in it and that kind of took me by surprise. But, um, Looking at the scores that I want to give this optic, um, being totally or as uh, as objective as I can, I have the illumination at seven. I have the parallax at six. I have the turrets also at a six. Um, they're both lockable, which is cool. Um, if you like that, I'm, I'm, I prefer them not being lockable. Um, but that's just me. And the eye relief is really good on it. You can, you can actually move quite a bit back and forward and still have a really good eye relief on it. Not losing your eye box. Um, the glass on it, I'm gonna give that a six. I've actually dialed that a little bit down from what I had before because of that very blue halo or because of the chromatic aberration that was on the, uh, the optic when we were, when we were shooting. Um, the zoom, I really like the tautness of it. It's, uh, it's nice and it's got the right tautness. It's not too stiff, it's not too, no, not too soft, so I'm going to give that an 8. Overall, I'm going to give this optic, a, uh, or the Strike Eagle, I'm going to give it a 7 overall. And that's primarily because of the chromatic aberration I experienced in the glass. It's because it does not have a stop in between the uh, the illuminations so if you forget to turn it off well that's, that's like that with all the scopes 
if you get if you forget to tear them off they're gonna drain themselves but on the um, on the strike eagle you got to go all the way back around which is kind of annoying um, the parallax doesn't get more than a six because I feel it's a little bit too stiff um, I would have liked it if it were a little bit less taut um, I do like the knurling that's on the parallax the uh, windage and the elevation turrets the the knurling really makes it easy to uh, to adjust them they could also be in my opinion a little bit more clicky but they do have a good tautness to them so Offhand, I do believe that the Vortex Strike Eagle is a pretty good contender for a reasonably priced scope. Um, now with all the other scopes that are in this place, please give them all uh, a look and judge for yourself. I've made sure that all the optics have been filmed through. I've made sure that you can, you can see exactly what I saw at the time. I am going to start doing more of a scientific setup where I also use the the box tests and the tall target tests and maybe also some some color tests to uh, to show better how the different scopes perform. But you're never going to have the same day. You're never going to have the same sun. So I feel that the way I'm doing it is is pretty good. But. That's it for now. That's it for the Strike Eagle. And uh, oh, and these are not included. These are extra, the flip caps. So I think what you get in the box is throw lever, sunshade, and scope. That's it. Which is okay. I mean that the uh, throw lever is in there. That's quite good. And it's a really cool throw lever too. Maybe that should count extra points. Yeah. I haven't given the others extra points for including one, so I'm not going to give Vortex extra points for getting, putting one in there. But it's good. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe.